Good evening, once again. My second video with Holy Innocence Church and School. Just situated along Ashford St. Thomas. And this is also the road to Harrison Cave on Lachman Hall Valley. And again, Harrison Cave runs all on the ground here, all in the Holy Innocent Church, all in the Lachman Hall on this area. Harrison Cave runs all under. And this is the painting on the school building, the mural graphic, which was done by June Connell in 2005. And this was the girls' school many years ago, Holy Innocence Girls' School. And the boys' school was up here, where this church cemetery wall is, was the boys' school. The boys school was there and then the Vickers Club was in there afterwards. The Vickers Club ready to keep dances and other social events. And then the Crooked Pavilion is down behind the church, behind the cemetery wall here, behind the, where the old school was. And this is Holy Innocence Church which was built in 1838 and dedicated in 1839 and it was built on lands given by the owners of Ashford Plantation. And it was built in the shape of a cross. Looking back to Ashford Long Road and Holy Innocence Primary School here again. And you can see that the churchyard is well kept. My great aunt, the only one I have living, and she's also in the choir. And other members take good care of the church. Make sure that the grounds are well kept. And tend it up. Guys, Holy Innocence Anglican Episcopal Church situated along Ashford, St. Thomas, on the way to Harrison's Cape and Lechon Hogley. St. Thomas is best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. So this is the church cemetery over here, where this wall is, since the other cemetery in the churchyard is filled. They have to bury the people over here now. And the green building in the churchyard is the church social center, and the edifice next door is the bell free where the bell is. Looking back down to Ashford Long Road. A Holy Innocence Primary School. Ashford here is spelled A Y S H F O R D. There are two Ashfords in Barbados. One here in St. Thomas and one in St. John. The one in St. John is spelled A S H F O R D. The Holy Innocence Church will be the final resting place of most of my family from my mother's side, such as my great aunts, most of them, and great uncles, and great grandparents, and other family members, both who I know and who I don't know. And I also, my family also received their education here. My aunts, my first two aunts, uncles, my, my uncle, my first two aunts, cousins, great grandparents, all received their primary education here at Holy Innocence Primary School.
parish of St. Thomas, a parish known for nature. We will come across all the nature sites like Harrison's Cave and all that, Shmahogali. St. Thomas is also the parish where you will find most of the gullies here in Barbados. Will be found here in St. Thomas, such as the Rashmahar Gully. Stony Gully. Jack in the Box Gully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jack in the Box Gully and also. Um, Russia Gully, all found in the power of the The school building here again with the mural on it, which was done by Joan Connell in 2005. It's also a mural similar to this, painted on the project house up the road here in Sturgis. St. Thomas, which is now the Natural Heritage Department, which is a part of Harrison Cave. There's a mural painted on that building as well. Done around the same time that this one here was done. And there was a mistake when I said that Harrison Cave was owned by Chucker. Harrison Cave is only managed and operated by Chucker from Jamaica, but it is still owned by the government of Barbados. But Chucker is who's running it. it Government leased it to Chucker on the 9th of July 2021. So St. Thomas is a beautiful Highland parish with landscapes and hillsides similar to that of Portland and St. Anne Parish in Jamaica. Holy Innocence Church will cater to the spiritual needs of those persons living in Port Bell. Rachman Hall, Sturges, Lion Castle, Stony Gully, not Stony Gully, Lion Castle and Highland, and Carrington's Village and Chapman's Village, or in the parish of St. Thomas. And they will cater to the physical and academic needs of persons living in the same areas with the primary school. Thanks for watching now and have a blessed evening.